coming up. What's in the box? I bought this huge thing from AliExpress without telling my wife. We're going to open it up and see what's inside. Hello and welcome to another video. This time something completely different. We're currently arriving with a U-Haul trailer in tow at the importer in Marari, not far from the port of Brisbane. After submitting the paperwork, we're ready to load. This will be part one of a three part series. I'm not going into too much detail in this video. It's just an introduction for what's to come. There will be a review once I've used it enough to give you an honest opinion, then I'll make a complete purchase guide. Okay, let's strap this thing down and get it on the road. Lay down. Now we've got this thing home, let's open it up. And here it is. In case you can't already tell, it's a mini excavator, straight from Qingdao, China. I highly recommend opening a crate like this with a power saw and not a wrecking bar. It was way harder than it looks. With no instruction manual except a Briggs & Stratton booklet, we're checking that it has oil. It turns out it already had running in oil in it. Perhaps not Briggs, but certain engines from China may arrive empty and you'll destroy the engine if you don't check. The hydraulic oil, however, was empty. So a quick trip into the auto parts store and I picked up the cheapest ISO 46 hydraulic oil. Along with the engine oil I chose, this one handles higher temperatures. Coming on to summer we'll have 40 degree days and this thing runs hot when it warms up. Now we got that filled up, let's get it off the trailer. Time is of the essence because I only hired it for 24 hours and getting it back tomorrow morning will not do. One word of warning, these U-Haul car trailers in Australia are only rated at 1.2 tonnes. They do make a heavier one, but none were available in my area. I don't want to incriminate anyone, but how many cars weigh more than 1.2 tonnes? Most of them weigh a lot more than that. Well that's it, it's off and running. Tomorrow I'll install the roll bars and roof check all the grease and give it a proper workout. And here it is in full form. Young fellow is taking the cautious approach, learning how to operate it. This video is too small for the algorithm, so I'll chuck in some footage of it in action. We live on a farm, so when I'm not fixing tech stuff, I'm doing farm stuff. Follow along and see how I put the digger to good use. This old fence has been here for years, but now I can pull it out with minimum effort. I've currently got a trenching bucket installed because I dug a trench. This isn't the right setup for pulling star pickets, I'm just using a bolt and hoping the chain grabs.
the most important safety tips for driving one of these. Always put the seat belt on. If it throws you forward without a seat belt on, it's all over. The second most important thing is never operate it with people nearby. A collision with the arm or bucket will be fatal. And thirdly, if you need to dismount, shut the engine down, otherwise you'll most likely bump the controls on the way out and could get hurt or killed. Pulling these posts out was quite a struggle. You might put the underpowered machine at fault, but the steel posts actually rust and lock into the ground. While I did eventually get it out this way, I mangled another post and snapped the third one. The solution is breaking the crust by knocking the star picket in further with a post reamer, then using a hardened steel loop with a screwdriver put through one of the holes. If the screwdriver doesn't break like mine did, it should come right out. Later I got a hook. I'm guessing a 6mm high tensile bolt might work in place of the screwdriver. Every time I fire it up, Mr Kookaburra comes looking for worms. I don't mind at all because his usual diet is native bush rats and small birds. There he is again. Notice the loud rattle? That's a steel roof vibrating. This is one of the things I had to fix. But more about that next time. The next video will be a review and I'll go over all the problems we had, which was a lot. Following that, I'll do a full rundown of costs and everything involved with importing one of these. I won't give too much away, but owning a digger, it helps if you or the old man is handy with the tools. Well that's it for today, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.